Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So I just made an update for the new Fitbit OS. This is the 402 version. So I'm just scrolling through and looking at some of the new functionalities and I think it's just walking me through with some of the uh, settings and options that, that it's got. I upgraded from OS 3 um, to into OS 4 so there's there's uh, there's quite a bit of new items that's been uh, pushed out and the release notes on Fitbit website doesn't really mention any of this actually so I'm just, doing, I'm just gonna do a quick calibration and then I will return and show you what's what's new okay let's take a look at the navigation bar quick settings so Quick settings gives you these four new uh, modes. So the sleep mode, um, it just cancels uh, notifications and calls. And then you got the brightness adjustments here, um, good different settings there. And then you also got do not disturb. Um, pretty much works the same way as the sleep mode. The only difference is that the sleep mode also dims the screen. Um, then you got the the um, the screen wake. Oh, okay. The screen wake is uh, depends how you want to wake the screen or the the Fitbit. So now to get out, I guess you gotta press the okay, cool, the right button, and then you slide down to get to the navigation on the top, and then you got the music, quick navigation, and I think you need to press on the side here. Okay. Then you also in the middle is the Fitbit Pay. Um, if you got that set up for your for your watch okay which is nice uh, so this is definitely a cool feature to have uh, on the slide down menu um, just looking at some other items that could be new here um, so everything else is pretty much the same for the apps and nothing changed there my watch face didn't change after the upgrade um, and then you got the quick hold um, shortcut is still the same and then activity is still the same um, nothing that I notice different here so I'm trying to look through the apps itself in the exercise mode okay this is what I so I mean the exercise mode is pretty much the same the icons uh, just got updated and the yeah everything all of the modes are pretty much the same um, everything else um, didn't change in terms of the functionality i think just the pictures got changed oh same thing with the coach mode and then you got some new graphics there but everything else is still the same and that's pretty much it i do want to finalize in saying that now that i've been using the Fitbit for a week now um, with the new OS. I do. I did notice that the battery actually is a lot better. I don't. I'm not sure what it is, uh, but the battery is actually lasting four days uh, or more, depending on how often I use it. Um, so just from the previous OS. I, so I do. I do like that. Um, and anything else in terms of the upgrade process um, it was pretty smooth it took about probably 10 minutes or so i would say i kind of just left the uh, fitbit there um, I, I would suggest that you leave it um, charging um, or when you're upgrading it uh, definitely have a full battery with the fitbit you don't want it to to run out battery as you're doing the update um, as far as any uh, anything else there's, there's nothing else that I noticed so the main thing in recap are the top navigation bar that gives you the access of the new settings for the sleep mode do not disturb which is very handy and additionally the sleep mode actually has a schedule you, you do that in the settings actually you can set up a schedule for your sleep mode that the Fitbit will automatically dim the screen at the time um, that you set up and then automatically undim the screen for the time that you wake up. 
and you set that into the settings menu. Now, the do not disturb, that one, you could set it on and it would be on for until you turned it off, pretty much. It would just silence your calls and notifications so that, you know, your, your Fitbit isn't bothering you. Uh, if you're, you know, if you're in the meeting or if you're, if you're out at work or something, you don't want to be bothered and, and, and get notified of anything on your, on your Fitbit. So you could definitely use that and then you could turn it off yourself. All right, this wraps up the review for the Fitbit OS. Thanks for tuning in, subscribe, and let me know any, if you have any questions in the comments below. Thanks.